de noche me llama. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be on this very formal event, glamorous type of tutorial. You can wear this at an event, a photo shoot, anywhere girl if it's formal you can do it it's so classic and so easy if you guys didn't already know i upload every single week every single week look out for a video every single week hey 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 let's get started hey guys so i kind of switched up my routine once again usually i always have my brows filled in but now i do that last I'm kind of liking how it looks. I don't know, I'm kind of now getting used to it. And now that I look back, I'm like, damn, my brows don't look that good back then when I would do it first. And now I'm doing it last and it's like so snatched. So I'm gonna just jump into the eyes. Prime my eyes using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. You guys might notice that my background is a little different. I'll have a room tour coming soon. I'm still finishing up my room. You guys might recognize that that's from my vlog how i made a diy neon light it's it's not turned on though i should turn it on maybe but it makes like a weird like sound so maybe i have to test that out for later so first thing i'm gonna pick up is my kylie cosmetics summer palette this is literally my holy grail like definitely up there in my favorite palettes so i'm gonna go into this shade right here and this is my e27 i'm gonna blend it as a transition now I'm going to pick up the James Charles palette and I'm going to mix in this shade and a touch of this one and then we'll gradually deepen up. You want to start light, don't go dark at once because remember, you go dark, it's going to be hard to come back. Go light, pack on the colors and be patient. I'm going to blend this a little bit deeper into the crease and I'm going to start kind of lightly winging out the tail. Now with my M433, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and then mix it in with this one. So it's kind of like a one-stepper, you know? Start off light, then go dark. I'm gonna focus this at the end of our eyelid and then I'm gonna very gradually blend it into the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade right here and then bring it super close to where the brow bone is and just blend whatever we have going on. We're gonna clean up the brows anyway. We're not super done with this, so you could kind of add shadow. It's okay if it gets on the brows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape and my favorite cut crease brush, which is the M508. So I'm gonna try to do that on camera, but I get super close to the mirror, so. My God, I'm looking so freaking white, like. Hello, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Since the concealer is fresh on, I'm gonna pick up this gold shade right here and mix it in with this one right here and go ahead and pack that onto where we cut our crease. Now to make things just a little bit more fun, I'm gonna get my Stila Kitten Karma metallic shadow thing. You guys know the deal. This shit is literally the best thing ever. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand because I don't want it to be too crazy. And I'm gonna go in with a brush and kind of just tap on where we put the gold. Now I'm gonna go back in with my M433 with whatever just is on the brush and kind of just diffuse where we cut our crease and then the shadow so we could mix it up real nice. I'm gonna deepen up the very end with this dark ass brown. Just pop some right there. Yup. You could even blend it a little bit. Not too much. And then with my M507, I'm gonna go into this black and then I'm gonna just add this at the end. Try to be super light because this can get crazy. So you want to make sure that it's tame, girl. Keep it in the cage. I'm gonna finish up this eye and then the rest of my face, put on some lashes, 
put on some brows and I'll be right back now before you guys move on to the rest of the face I really do recommend getting your favorite liquid liner and going with a super thin thin line just so you could kind of camouflage your lash line when you put on your falsies so that's a must must do before you move on all right guys i'm all done almost done with my face i went ahead and finished everything off camera i'm using my favorite lily lashes ash comb style i love these freaking lashes they're literally like glamorous but you can still see the makeup it's not like you know so let's move on i'm gonna take an angled brush and first go in with this shade right here and i'm gonna just connect what we have going on on top And then I'm going to mix these two shades right here, more of the darker one, and do the same thing, just get super close to the lash line. And then I picked up this new brush from Morphe, it's the M431, and I'm going to use it, just clean brush. Blend whatever we have going on, just so it's not too harsh. And then for the final touch, I'm going to pick up this shade right here and add it on the inner corners. I literally had three slices of pizza today. And that's it. And like a bowl of Cheerios in the morning. Super early. I'm eating really bad lately. But I love it. Looking like a snack. As some mascara girls, gotta get close. For lips, I'm gonna pick up my Dose of Colors Casual Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite Abu Dhabi Matte Lip Cream by NYX. Spread your face, girl, and we are done. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this event glamorous look. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.